Yo alright guys, GMS Gaming HD here, welcome to episode 6 of the Bayern Munich career mod. Before I start this video, i just like to say a huge sorry for not uploading any videos the last few days. I think the last video I did in fact upload was episode 5 of the Bayern Munich career mod on Thursday. On Tuesday my TV did in fact break. I, I was on it all day and then I turned my Xbox off at the end of the night. What tried to go on it the next day and it, it just wasn't turning on. Unplugged everything, unplugged my PVI etc. And I tried to do it again but it wasn't working and obviously I had to get a new TV and that actually lasted me till Friday. Friday. So I got the TV yesterday, so I will be doing daily FIFA content from out now on, so I am sorry about that. But if this video does in fact get 15 likes, I will definitely do a double upload tomorrow of this career mode. Or you may have one video of this career mode and then a video of the underrated squads or a squad builder, but it's definitely up to you guys, so definitely leave that in the comment section below. <clears throat> sorry guys. But going in at halftime in this first game, and we were in fact beating Shakhtar Donetsk. 1-0. Going to the Donbass Arena, I was quite re reluctant because it's quite a decent place to go. Shakhtar are a very underrated side in my opinion. I obviously did uh, underrated squads on, on Shakhtar and they're such a great team. You know, it's got a lot of Brazilians, a big Brazilian contingent in their side, but I definitely wished we could definitely get a result there. But what a goal that is from Stefan El Shirawi in the 63rd minute. What a finish that was. I can't remember the guy who actually did, in fact, suggest that guy. But what a signing El Shirawi has been. I'm actually bringing him on at half time because if you play him in the first half and in the second half, his fitness goes really low at the end of the game. So I'm, I'm just bringing him on at half time, keeping Shakiri on in that first half and then bringing El Shirawi on. And what a finish that was. What, what an introduction to his Champions, Champions League campaign to our team. And what a finish that is from Thomas Muller. Thomas Muller is definitely my super sub. Definitely thinking of bringing him in, but I've got a lot of talent on those wings, so I don't know where I'm going to actually fit him in. But every time I've played Thomas Muller this season, he has always popped up with a goal. And what great play that was from Thomas Muller and Lewandowski. Lewandowski whips it back in, and who else but Thomas Muller is there to head it onto the post and into the back of the net in the 72nd minute. What a finish that is from the German international. He's such a great player, to be honest. But like I said, we've got a lot of talent and I'd, you've got the likes of Robin and then you've got El Shirawi and Shakiri, and I think they're probably better. But I'm definitely thinking of bringing Thomas Muller on in more games, introducing him more into the games. As you see there, Thomas Muller goes on and crosses it in and Lewandowski is there in the 89th minute. I think that's definitely one of my best strengths for this Bayern Munich side is definitely the heading ability. You've got the likes of Lewandowski, Thomas Muller, and then at the back you've got Dante and Jerome Boateng, all very good in the end. And in that CDM position you've got Javi Martinez, who isn't too bad in the air also. But we do finish this game in Ukraine, 5-0, FC Bayern 5 FC Shakhtar Donetsk nil. What a great result that was, to be honest. Showing everyone in Europe we mean business in this Champions League. And obviously the objective for this cream mode is to actually win all three trophies. And I'm on target for all of them at the moment. I haven't actually played a German Cup game yet. But hopefully that will come very soon. Going into the second and final game of this episode. And it is in fact going to be against Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen are one of the better sides in Germany. They always finish around third in the league in real life. So it was going to be a bit of a tough task. But we start off really well. And what a finish that is from Mario Goetze in the 33rd minute. What a finish he was. He's having a great season already to be honest. Definitely one of my best players this season. And what a finish that was. A great ball over from Iron Robin, the Dutch international. Robin. I mean, Goethe was holding the Bayer Leverkusen defender off and he slotted in past Leno in the Leverkusen net to make us 1-0. Going into halftime and we were beating Bayer Leverkusen 1-0. A great result and we definitely need to just keep that, keep what we were doing in that first half. Look at the stats, 7 shots, 5 on target and we had 51% possession to 49%. So we definitely dominated them but I definitely wanted more possession in that second half. I always pride myself on the possession game so I want to keep on keep on going with that and stuff like that but I see they're just doing a few changes and I see there Lewandowski one shot and he has one offside so he isn't having the best of games didn't really do anything in that first half at all and it was all good to, with that goal we did in fact bring Stefan El Shrawi on and Thomas Muller for Ian Robin and Shakiri respectively and Lewandowski what a goal that was a fox in the box finish from the Polish international in the 54th minute just controlled it the Leverkusen defence had absolutely no chance of stopping Lewandowski there once he's in and around that box you're not going to stop him because what a finish that is past Bern Leno in the Leverkusen net he had no chance and Lewandowski did put us up 2-0 and what a goal that is 
from Lewandowski in the 56th minute, just four minutes after he scored that goal. He intercepted the halftime uh, play from Leverkusen when they did the kickoff from the goal. He intercepted that, ran a few minutes, and then what a strike that is past Bern Leno. Leno had absolutely no, ch no chance, just stood in amazement on what a finish that is. He is definitely having the season of his life so far, and hopefully that definitely continues. And we do finish this second game of this episode. 3-0 against Bayer Leverkusen. So in this episode, we actually have scored eight goals in two games. That's unbelievable. Want that to continue. Looking at stats, nine shots, seven on target, and they had four shots, one on target. This was episode six of the Bayern Munich Cream Mode. If you did, in fact, enjoy this, definitely like, comment, subscribe for more daily FIFA content.